What's going on guys, your boy Jess one more cast, back with another video. Today I'm not out on the water or uh, fishing in any type of way today. So if you were looking for more fishing, sorry, not this time. But today I want to talk about my kayak setup. I'm a kayak fisherman for the most part. Um, and uh, I made some upgrades on my kayak from last year to uh, help be a little more accessible to um, things in the kayak. Uh, my electronics setup is a little bit different this year. It makes it a little easier for me. And um, also, I made, a, I made an upgrade to help record footage. I'm gonna be doing a lot more recording this year. Um, I'm fishing out the Vibe Seaghost 110. That's the 11 foot version. I, I love it and I loved it so much that um, this year I want to make some permanent upgrades to it. You know, and um, I'm really satisfied with so far. And I think it's gonna fish real, real well this year. And um, I'm really excited to get out on the water again for, the, for this upcoming season. So check out some of the things I did. Hope you like it. All right. So you gotta excuse my setup right now. It's a little cold outside for me to wanna to be out there working or anything. It's a little cold and I don't have a garage, so I do all my work right from my back porch into my little kitchen area. So first first upgrade I did was pretty simple. I made a rod holder out of a PVC, one and one quarter inch PVC, schedule 40. And I painted it a matte army green. And um, I like this, I like it better than, I, last year I had the, um, the rod holder that goes in the back of my crate. I don't have my crate in here, in my well right now, but I had the three rod holders on the back of my, on the side of my crate. And I had issues with it, the way I cast, you know, I slapped the rods a couple of times the way I cast. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Probably is just me. I'm, I don't hear anybody else complaining about that, but I don't like it, so I changed it. <laughs> but but like I said, it's a good it's a good setup for some people. It just wasn't wasn't good for me. So that's my that's my rod holder fits right into my my rod holders that were already uh, already molded into the kayak. And um. Yeah, they'll be right behind my seat. My seat sits pretty close to that. I don't have the seat in right now, but that's my seat fits. The back of my seat is right here. And I'll be right leaning up, basically pretty much leaning up right on, on the back of the, uh, on the front of the rod holder. So it'll be pretty easy to get the rods and they'll be out of the way on my um, back swing on my cast. All right. Another simple thing I added was um, I wanted more grip in the deck of my kayak. So I got this this adhesive, this tape. It's um, slip resistant, skid resistant tape. It's the kind of tape you see on step on steps, uh, like concrete steps. And it's like, it's really abrasive. And um, it's water water resistant. It's 3M. So I just, I just laid the tape down and I cut out the scupper hole area. And that'll help me uh, stand a little bit better and just give me a little more grip on the um, deck of the kayak my fish finder last year on my fish finder i ran the battery in this hatch i just ran the battery cord out of my outside of, uh, out of my fish finder and i had my battery inside this hatch right here well that worked and all but it wasn't it wasn't clean and it was just a little I don't know, it just wasn't clean. It just wasn't clean to me. It wasn't a nice setup because, you know, the cord went down underneath the hatch and the hatch just kind of set up a little bit. You know, it was okay, but just wasn't to my liking. So, this year what I did, I had this panel. I have my, um, this panel has, this panel has two USB ports. A voltage meter and a cigarette lighter um, port, and, and I added a switch. I know some I know some of these panels come with the switch, but I realized later that I really needed the switch. I wanted the switch to power this whole panel. So um, first, let me show you how. Well, first let me show you how it's uh, how I wired it. There's my battery. This is the basic 12 volt battery. I don't have it. In the box right now, I do have a box for it. I'm gonna velcro the box to the the hull of the kayak, but 
just for just to show you, give you an idea of what's going on down here. I'm gonna leave it out. So basically, just delight. Everything wired up back here. As you can see, the um, the ports, all the inserts on the ports have those uh, pl have plastic screws on the back with plastic nuts on the back. And that holds them in place, except for the, the switch. The switch doesn't have one, but that uh, it has a uh, has connectors that, that keeps it in place. But there's everything wired. As soon as everything being dirty, I just got finished work and I didn't really clean up, so I got shavings everywhere, and little pieces. Uh, but here's how it works. So the battery's hooked up. Throw this switch. Bam, you got power. At 13.2 volts on my battery. I like that. So I mean it's on the fish finder, but I don't think it's accurate. On on here, I, mean, I know exactly what's going on. I don't know exactly what's going on. I know how much power I got. When it's time to uh, charge up or when I'm when I'm if I'm getting ready to run out of power. I got my USB ports. And uh, another upgrade I added was I added a Scotty um Scotty mount right here. And I have a camera mount, and this is where I'm going to mount my action camera. And I'm going to run a USB cord to this USB port, and I will have I will be able to run my camera all day, no battery changes or anything. So I really like that. That was part of the reason I stopped filming last year because it's just a pain to switch batteries so much back and forth, and it's just a pain. So now I can, I'll be able to run my uh, camera all day if I have to charge my phone. It's got the uh, one one amp and the two point excuse me one amp and a two point one amp for the uh, USB ports. Now the cigarette lighter that's where the uh, fish finder comes in. I took my fish finder cord and I and I added this marine sealed lighter uh, lighter adapter. So just plug that in. Turn them on. Things powering up. Turn on the fish finder. Bam. We got power. Sorry about the glare. You don't need to see too much of it anyway. And there it is. I run the Garmin 4CV. I like this, but uh, I don't know. Maybe next season or the end of the season, I might upgrade that. But uh, my trans the Seagulls has a trans transducer discover port so my transducer is mounted inside you know, under the hull of the kayak so that's that's nice and clean and um basically what I did was I took a paddle bit well actually I I lined the uh, I drew lined it up with the screws I drilled this I mean I tightened the screws in lined it up then I drilled my holes marked my holes and drilled them and then for that switch I pretty much just eyeballed it got it lined up right next to that it's pretty simple it took me a while because I'm just a little I move too quick sometimes so I wired it wrong like two times <laughs> but I got it together eventually and got everything working good switch works off and on perfect so yeah that's it that's my kayak setup. Vibe Seagulls 110. It's a great kayak. I would recommend it to anybody. And, um, yeah. So that's it. Um, those are my upgrades. Hope, Hopefully, um, something you saw on this video will inspire you to do some of these upgrades. Any questions you have, just leave a comment. I usually reply back pretty quick. I'm going back. I'm going back. I bought some um, marine goop. Some marine goop sealant. So I'm going back over that panel. And uh, all the holes I drilled, I'm going to seal them up with the marine goop. I'm just going to back all the screws out, uh, dab a little marine goop on there, seal it back up, let that dry, and I'll be set to go in the water. So, thanks for watching. Peace.